Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So, hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. So today's Wednesday, the time is around half past 10 ish and I'm just about to head out into town. So um, yeah, Nathan and my mum are working from home today and uh, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go out because there's nowhere really I can sit, I think I can really do, so I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna go out. To be fair, there's bits and pieces I need in town anyway. So yeah, we're good to get out and I'll probably end up having a coffee at Starbucks Literally, it's been about three weeks, three weeks since I've had a skinny latte sugar-free vanilla at Starbucks. <laughs> so over a week, I was ill. I had this horrible stomach bug. Um, I don't know if it was that norovirus thing going about or if it was just a random stomach bug. I don't know, but it was really, really bad. I was ill, as I say, for over a week. Didn't go out. Um, so obviously, when I did start going out again... I was like, no, I'm going to avoid coffee and milky coffee especially. Um, but I think it's been time. I think it's been enough time now that I can start trying a coffee again. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. But I really fancy it. I really miss my, my coffee. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to go there and uh, I might also sit in the library for a little bit. I'm going to take my book with me, my glasses, and just kind of find a nice, quiet, chilled out corner in the library to sit and read for a bit. Um, by the way, I know I can read at home and I do read at home, but for me as a bookworm, there's something so like really relaxing about sitting in a library reading. Like it's just really nice. So anyway, I'm going to do that. But yeah, a few bits and pieces I've got to go and get. I've got a little list on my phone. So honestly, I have to put everything down on a list or else I forget. It's terrible. Like when I was younger and I used to go shopping and stuff, I just go get my things. That was that. But um, now I literally, I get there and I'm like, I can't remember what I need. So I have to have a list of some form. So, I, you know, remember what to get. Anyhow, so yes, come spend the day with me. Um, and, uh, oh, let me show you what I'm wearing. I love this t-shirt so much. Hold on, I'll show you in the mirror. You'll get a better look at it then. <laughs> How cool is this? I love this. So I got this sent to me from a company um, ages ago. Now, when I first got it, I must have lost a bit of weight which is good. Um, I think that was mainly when I was ill because I was being sick and going to the toilet all the time. But anyhow, I lost a bit of weight. We'll, we'll leave it as a positive. But um, yeah, when I first got this, it was really, really tight. Like it was like clinging. Um, so I'd only sort of re wear it very now and again in videos and then quickly take it off. But now it's got, I mean, it's not baggy or anything, but it's comfortable. It doesn't look sort of clingy and tight and it feels comfortable. So I just love it. It's so cute. Look at all the little dogs there. Oh, it's adorable. Anyway, um, so I've just teamed that with a little black cardigan and some black trousers and my trainers. I was going to wear some boots today because I thought it would go kind of better. But to be fair, I'm walking a lot today, so I wanted to be comfortable. And my trainers, my feeler trainers are far more comfortable than, you know, walking in boots. So that is my outfit. I feel like a proper YouTuber now. This is my outfit of the day. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to quickly get my stuff together and then I'm uh, heading out. So let's do it. I'm in town now. I'm just in Iceland getting some scones or scones, however you say it. Oh, that one's closed. Okay, I'll go over here. I did want to get some frozen stuff in here as well, but I can't because I'm not going straight home for a while and it would just defrost. So I'll have to come back another day for the frozen stuff. But yeah, at least I've got these. Before I started my shopping, I just thought I'd have a little wander just down here. I love the little train they've put here. It's so nice. They used to have little uh, beach huts on this bit, but they've replaced it with the, uh, the train. Which I actually like more. It's even got a little fake track, look. <laughs> Super cute. It is very windy. Oof.
What's happened to his arm? Oh, poor thing. But he looks happy enough. He's got his chips. Right, I need to go into Boots. Just in Poundland now. Lots of Easter eggs. Well, I'm Jewish, but I do like a nice Easter egg. <laughs> uh, just seeing what ones they've got. Oh, wow, look. For Nathan, Fiverr. Dinosaur smart is one. <laughs> and you get to make a dinosaur. <laughs> I think he'd be more interested in eating the chocolate to be fair. Starting to uh, get all the garden stuff out now. I see. The hidden garden. That's really cute. Like all the little things. I'm going to get this as a gift for Nathan. <laughs> You can grow your own little uh, red hot chilies. What's that one? Jalapeno, is that? Jalapeno? Cayenne, cayenne. And what's that? Hab habanero. No, habanero. I don't know. I don't really like spicy stuff, but Nathan does love some spicy things. And he can grow them. It would be fun, maybe. He'll probably be like, what did I want that for? But this <laughs> is something fun. He can grow and, you know. They've got Nightmare Before Christmas, Funko Pop things, Pop Trains. Look, there's Sally. So Sally in Cat Cart. That is pretty cool. That's the mare. <laughs> Little Zero the dog in the duck cart. That's a scary looking duck, right? Little packaging stuff. Do I need any? I honestly can't remember. Might just get one bubble wrap just in case because I always post books and stuff so I like, you know, padding them out with the bubble wrap. Um, no, I don't need sellotape actually because I remember checking that the other day and I've got like four still so that's alright. Um, any sticky labels? Ah, oh. there's a box up there for a pound. How many did you get? 200 in that pack. Okay, so I'm trying to hold all this. I probably should have just got a basket, but I didn't get the Sally um, not before Christmas thing. I do love it, but there's no Jack. It kind of feels sad about Jack. What is happening to my hair? It's a right mess. Um, but yeah, there's no Jack, so I kind of feel tonight a bit weird getting Sally with no Jack. Happiness is always my mood. <laughs> I wish. Meet me on the moon. Something new at the Borrower Bookshop. <laughs> I do like books about books, so let's see what this is about. Mm, I don't think it's for me, even though it's about books. It's just, I don't know, a bit too... Just, yeah, not for me. <laughs> I am not a cat. Okay. I thought these are actual Harry Potter books and stuff, but it's just like a kind of notebook, really. Ah. A diary. 
Oh, there's some artwork in it as well, which is cool. By the way, I'm definitely a Ravenclaw, but with a little bit of slithering. <laughs> This is so cool. I actually really like this. I'm going to try this on. There's an L. I was just going to say if there's an L, but there is an L. Yeah. I'm so sad I can't wear four snails anymore. They're so pretty. Look at these ones. Oh, I miss them. I miss them but yeah I did not have a happy experience with fake nails and I vowed not to get them again um I couldn't get them off they were literally stuck for dear life and me and Nathan had to like rip them oh it was horrible tried to soak them off they weren't coming off and oh it's so sad though because I, I I love like you know the different artwork you get on them and stuff but I'm not going through that dilemma again of ripping nails off that's pretty. Travel bottle set. That's cute. I like that. Huh. I like the lights around the mirror. It's pretty cool. Right, I'm going to go in the fitting rooms to try this sweatshirt on. Right, I've just stuck this over um, my top. So, obviously it looks a bit weird, but just to kind of get a gist of it, see if it fits. It's nice and loose, nice length. Really cool design. I love all this, it's so cool. Yay! I was really upset the other day. My dad said that Shoe Zone was closing down because he saw all the signs saying closing down. Apparently, they kind of are, but they're kind of not. They're closing this shop down. They're going to be moving down there near Primark. So, huh, very misleading because you think that's it. No more Shoe Zone. But there is going to be Shoe Zone. They're just moving. But I thought I'd have a little quick look in here because they are obviously doing some offers. So, we will see. So I'll get my sandals in here normally. I've already got sandals though for this year. Um, oh, they're cute little pumps. Very summery. Sparkly. <laughs> Always look in the uh, toy section in case there's any Lego. Because you do sometimes find Lego in the uh, toy stuff, but no Lego today. Marion, I can't believe she's working now. Okay, so. Just gonna head into the library. So I uh, hope it's nice and quiet because I'm gonna sit down and have a little read if I can find a nice little quiet corner. Have a look on the book sale. A look in case any books have turned up for me. I don't think they have, but one of me always check. Okay, let's 
supposed to be an art exhibition over here. So let's have a, a little look. Oh, I know this. This is where, um, where is it? Oh yeah, Clarence Road car park, that's it. That was some really nice artwork that they did in the car park and stuff. That's cool. She looks like she's staring into your soul, as does she. <laughs> I like the colours on that one, very vibrant. Oh, actually, no, I like this one better. Very kind of pastel colours. I like the pink, especially. What's this over here? Huh. Oh, that's the one I used to like. They got rid of that though, and they put something else there. That one's cool. It's probably my favourite one though. Just like the colouring of it. so hot in here. They've made it like um, one of these kind of local places where it's um, like it's nice temperature but it's it's just too hot. It's not even that cold outside and it's just oh, I don't know how I'm going to sit in here and read to be fair because it's just so hot. <sighs> just looking at the little book sound section over here as well. Oh there's hardly anything here. It's very uh, kind of empty. But yeah, it's, uh, it's sweating in it. I'm just going to sit over here and have a little read, but I'm just so hot. I don't even think if I took my cardigan off, it would make any difference. It's like they've literally got the heating on full blast. It's so hot. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to sit in here and read, which is sad. So I was looking forward to doing that today, but that looks like a vampire book if ever I've seen one. Yeah, that's a vampire. Oh, that's a vampire. Into savers. Got to get a couple of bits in here. Nathan needs some shampoo. And I need, what do I need? Oh, a sponge. No sponge. Not very exciting, I'm afraid, sorry, but it is what it is. I've got to get it. I need a sponge, he needs shampoo. <laughs> right, sponge, here we go. Right, I'm looking for head and shoulders. But there is a cheapy one, which is pretty much the same thing. Uh, hair and scalp. <laughs> so instead of head and shoulders, hair and scalp. Uh, except that's, that's like 2 49 and that's like a pound. So... Uh, so I'll get the normal shampoo or two in one for everyday use. Probably get that one actually because it's got the uh, conditioner in it as well. Make his hair nice and soft and shiny. And I will be needing a new hair dye soon but I haven't got to get that today. Can't wait till I get paid. I haven't got it anyway. I have Schwarzkopf Live in deep black but they haven't got... Oh no they have. 5 49 Hmm. Deep black, that is the one I have, but I don't know. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not. I've seen it worse than that, the roots, so. I can probably wait another couple of weeks till I have to dye it. All right, okay, so it's got to go pay. Whenever I'm in savers, it's like a maze. You have to walk round and round and round just to get to the till. <laughs> They're probably hoping you buy lots of other random things as you're walking around, I don't know. Where's the queue? Oh, it's over here. Oh, God. Oh my, okay. Ah, oh, there's like so many people in front. <laughs> I'm just going in WH Smith. Need to see if they've got the new Lego magazine for Nathan, Lego Star Wars. To get a little figure with it as well, you see? We got the um, Lego Jurassic Park the other day. Oh, just have a little quick look at the books. 
magazines around here. Okay, do they have the Lego Star Wars? Got the Lego City. Got Pokemon, that's not Lego. Lego Marvel, Chicago, Explorer. Now oh, that's the one he got. Minecraft, but no Lego Star Wars. Apparently it's a real sought after one. That's why it's selling out everywhere. I'll keep looking, but I just can't, I can't find them. I'm literally nearly done. And then I was like, oh, I forgot to go in the works. I really want to go in the works because the last time I was there, I should have gotten then and there. There was, this sounds really random, but there was a set of squishy balls. <laughs> That sounds so dodgy saying that in public. Squishy balls. Anyway, but yeah, no, really great for the ASMR channel and good for me. You know, if I'm feeling stressy and anxious, which is, you know, most days, you kind of squish them and squeeze them. This is sounding weirder. Um, but also I thought, what a great ASMR video, like tapping on them, squishing them. Um, you know, whether it's for this Minx Law 123 ASMR YouTube channel um, or for TikTok, or just even little shorts or something and to play with myself <laughs> so I'm gonna go see if they've got any left I should have got them on the day because they'll probably sell out the things with the works trending stuff is I normally kind of sell out pretty quick but we're gonna see and I literally I was right nearly done and then I was like oh I forgot to go to the works so I'm gonna go in there and have a little look see and see if they've uh, they've got them do not look at books Laura do not look at books there's many saying don't look at books but I've got the Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher one I've read it starts with us that was good but that one um, I might look at the library actually the website see if they've got it um, I always hear about Ellie Kelly and Kennedy, L Kennedy. I never read anything by her though. I read that a little while ago, Five Survive. Anyway, we're not here for that, we are here for balls. <laughs> Squishy balls. It's really busy in here. It's been reasonably quiet in town, and then I've come in here and it's just like manic. Oh wow, look at those. Sparkly. <laughs> so here's the trending bit where I saw them. But new and trending toys. Can I find them? It's not that. It's like a whole set of them. Fluffy slime. Fluffy slime. Are they here or have they gone? No. <laughs> I told ya. I should have got them. I should have got them on the blooming day I saw them and now they've gone. No. They took my balls. That sounds so wrong. I've got to stop saying balls. Um, but yeah, now they're gone. They were like a tenner. And there's like, I don't know, 12 in the pack or something. <sighs> Let's have a look at the puffy slime. Oh, that's annoyed me, that is. It's my own fault. Just see if they've moved them anywhere, just in case I've missed them. They're in like um, a triangle box. <sighs> no. They're not here, just in case. I thought I'm looking at the same place, just in case, but I haven't missed them, have I? No. Oh well, I've saved my money, I suppose. It's not all bad. What is that? A sticky fishy. Oh, what's that? Something just made a noise around here and I don't know what it was. <laughs> it's creepy. Did you hear that? What? Who is making a noise around here? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. No squishy balls around here. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Sonic. No, they're not here, are they? I missed out. Everyone, I missed out. It's my own fault. Funny bones. You say funny bones. <sighs> okay, right. So I've walked all the way down here for nothing. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it, they could have had them, but they haven't. Oh, my God, I'm very excited. I just asked the lady, I was like, look, it's embarrassing, but have you got any uh, squishy balls? <laughs> One pack left. Look at them. Yes. 
we have squeezy mega box um, look at all the different balls crystal ball glitter ball puffer dna octobal ah oh, this is great okay i'm gonna buy them i'm really sad right so i haven't had a starbucks for weeks right so i go in there and i'm like can i have a small skinny latte sugar-free vanilla please and they've got no sugar-free vanilla syrup uh, I was tempted to get a cappuccino instead, but my favourite is the skinny latte sugar-free vanilla. And I was like, I've waited this long. Uh, apparently they're going to get some uh, deliveries in in the next couple of days. So I was like, no, no, just really fancied it. But anyhow, what I've got instead, I went in the little shop and I've got myself a uh, Fanta Orange Zero Sugar. So I'm going to have that instead, just sit here for a bit. So, yeah, sad. I didn't really get to sit anywhere and have a little read, which is what I wanted to do, but it's all good. I can just read this afternoon. Um, Nathan's going to be going up in the loft sorting out some Pokemon cards that he's going to be selling. So I'll just have like the bedroom to myself, like complete quiet, and just kind of get on with my book. Um, I think my book that I'm waiting for has turned up in the post today, I think, because um, I had an email to say it's been delivered. So I'm assuming that it's correct and that it is there. Um, Mum and Nathan are at home, so obviously, yeah, the postman would have uh, seen them. But it's been really nice, actually. I've walked along the high street, got in some, you know, places, got some bits that I needed, and there's been hardly any seagulls, and not even that many pigeons, which is good. I um, I got pooped on by a pigeon the other day, and it's really haunted me. But, um, yeah, there's hardly any. I don't know where they're all gone. Maybe they're just gone somewhere else they got bored of south end i don't know <laughs> anyway i'm gonna sit here for a little bit chill have a drink and then i'm gonna just wander home um i was gonna listen to my audio book but i don't know if i'm in the mood for that so i might just i don't know i might just listen to some music or something as i walk home but yeah anyway i'll see you in a bit wilma <laughs> how you doing baby you all right you blow mummy bubbles bubbles oh wow nice and clear the water does it nice and clear give her a nice clean out another day You've been naughty though, haven't you? Tell the viewers what you've been doing lately. Ah, don't give me that cute face. What have you been doing? <laughs> She's been fiddling. What have you been fiddling with? Nah, don't go away from me. <laughs> don't cut me off. <laughs> She's gone, look. She's not, not there to be told. She's of. been fiddling with the pump. With her filter, yeah. With her filter thing, yeah. And it's been making really loud noises because and... She, she gets food trapped in there. And she wants the food goes after it have you been going in your pump and she knocks it off knocks it off and makes it really noisy when we're trying to sleep because it is mainly at night time she does it in the day not she's so hunting much. look you go hunting didn't you <laughs> so my book turned up in the post the email that i got was correct that had delivered it um the london seance society and it is by sarah penner who wrote i can say this word now it took me ages the lost apothecary apothecary is that right apothecary. anyway so it's really good actually because they've sent it what signs have sent it in the normal um like cardboard box but they've also put some i i don't know what it is what would you call that like packaging cellophane, cellophane yeah. stuff around it well, i think that could have been the publisher rather than more oh do you publisher. reckon yeah because they don't normally come like this but it's good because no. it just adds a little bit extra protection to it yeah. um yeah, so yeah you won't get it scuffed up yeah exactly so I don't know too much about this, and in a way I don't really want to. I just want to kind of go into it. Uh, and this will be my next book once I've finished reading my current book, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. I love that cover, though. It's really pretty, especially with the candle and stuff. But anyway, so um, we have something on the TV, and I'll show you. Boom. Next Top 5. New video. Very excited to watch this. If you don't know who Nuke's Top 5 is, he's literally my favourite YouTuber. He does paranormal like um, clips caught on camera stuff, basically. And there are many other channels who do that, but in our opinion, Nuke's the best. Nuke is the best. He just kind of yeah. gets on with it, you know what I mean? He hasn't got an annoying this voice. Is a, this is a special, this is a good one. This is half oh. hours. Oh, half hour? Half hour of Nuke goodness. Oh. And yeah, you just get little clips and, you know, I think he's the best at what he does, even though there are lots of others. He's just, I don't know, he's, he's, I like this channel. And the fact that he doesn't upload every week used to upset me, but now it kind of excites me because you never know when you're going to get a notification and it's, to say he's on. It's like a treat. When you yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. Like a treat. Whereas unlike some paranormal channels, not naming anyone, but I some of them, to. no, don't. <laughs> 
Slapped hand. Oh, I like slapped hand, but you I don't. don't. But some channels, not just slapped hand, but other channels as well, they do tend to, because they're putting videos out every day or every week, they just kind of put any bits in. Um, like a dog behind the curtain. So it's a ghost. Oh, it's a ghost moving the curtain. Yeah, and it's a dog or just silly stuff. Yeah. But with Nook, because he doesn't upload as frequent, I think his clips more, will feel more genuine. I mean, there's still been a few that we've yeah. been like, mm. but in general, they're like, oh, creepy. So we're going to watch Nook's top five now and chill for a bit. I have a bag of quavers waiting for me, which I haven't had for ages. Because you are a bit cheesy. <laughs> And um, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, everyone. So the time is now seven o'clock and I'm just putting some washing away. Or as you say in America, I'm putting some laundry. I'm just putting some laundry away. <laughs> anyway, um, so what have I been up to? We watched Nuke, Nuke's Top 5. Oh, my God. That literally, I think that was one of the most scariest episodes that we have watched in ages. Like normally, you know, it's quite scary, but. I don't even want to think about. There was one clip, especially that really got to me. Um, oh, it's so scary! This guy was doing like some ghost hunting in this like old abandoned hospital. I can't think of where it was. Where was it? Was it in the Philippines? Somewhere like that. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, he was doing a live stream. So uh, you know, obviously with paranormal stuff, it's going to be easier to fake it if it's in a video because it's editing and stuff but this was like a live stream and it was this guy on his own and he was filming and there were some noises things falling over blah 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 but then he saw this like oh I can't even think about it it's like it looked like the girl from the ring like all the hair and the ooh, just standing there and he literally runs up to her which was brave in itself and he puts his hand there it's like she just disappears there's nothing there and then he goes around again and she's in another room just kind of sitting there, and then all of a sudden, I don't even know, like, obviously it's possible that it, I don't know how it could have been fake, though, on a live stream, but anyway, there are probably ways you could do it, but it looked blooming real, her head kind of like, ugh, so say the camera's behind, her head like literally just, I don't know, went kind of upside down and back, it was really, it was really horrible, it looked like something from a horror film, but as I say, once again, it could be faked, I mean, even if it was faked, it was still really good and creepy, but if it's real, Ooh. Then there was this guy who was working at a garage and he um he was caught on security camera chatting and there's no one there and he's just like really you know chatting with his hands and talking like you know as if there's a conversation going on and then the guy who's watching on the camera is like who are you talking to? Like there's no one there and he says, Oh, it's Mr. Carlos. And basically this car had been bought in that he was, you know, gonna repair. And what this uh guy didn't know that Mr. Carlos and his family had died the previous night in this crash. So he was obviously having a conversation with a ghost, telling him like a quote of how much it was going to cost for the car. It was really weird. Once again, could be faked. But it, look, it looked really genuine, to be fair. But I don't know. It was, anyway, whatever. It was so creepy. Um, and then the plan was for me, I was going to do some filming and uh, <laughs> I was going to do some reading. But I was so cosy and comfortable in bed and cuddled up to Nathan that we both had a little nap. We had a nap. It was great. And yeah, that's that. We <laughs> didn't end up doing anything. I was like, I woke up about six ish and I was, well, just before six. And I was like, oh, I haven't done anything. I've literally been asleep. But to be fair, I always say, if your body needs sleep, it will tell you by sleeping. And I obviously needed sleep. So it was, it was good. Um, but yeah, so now I am just, as I say, putting the washing away, getting that done. There's not too much ish um i've just been downstairs i had something to eat i had a jacket potato with cheese and beans it was very nice um and so yeah that's my dinner done i'm trying to not eat as late because i'm finding when i'm eating quite late um it's really giving me bad heartburn like indigestion and i don't want that every single night it's horrible um but yeah so dinner is done for the night um but yeah i want to get this washing put away and then i'm going to start my new book oh so I did have a little read, actually, when I woke up. I read for like 20 minutes. So the book I was reading was called Gothicana. And I was going to tell you all about it and stuff, but I've ended up DNFing it, basically stopped reading it. Because like I'm no prude or anything, but it was just so smutty. It was making me cringe. Um, I won't go into wording because obviously I don't want to get in trouble. But it was a little bit too much. And it didn't even feel right. Like this teacher 
was seducing the student and it was just a bit, I don't know, it just didn't feel comfortable with me. So I went on Goodreads, looked up some people's reviews and I found that the mystery that was going on in the story, you never even get to find out what happens at the end. And I was like, well, this is pointless. I'm not going to find out about the mystery. I don't just want to read like a load of smut. Um, I know people out there love reading smart, like that's up to you, but for me, like I don't mind a little bit of smart, a little bit of romance, whatever, but it's just I just find it really cringy. It makes me like uncomfortable. I'm like, ooh. The way that the the certain body parts are named and described, and it's like, oh god. I just don't like it. Anyhow, so I, I DNF'd it, which uh, is sad, but it's alright, it's okay, don't worry, it's on eBay. Um and it's already got a bid on it, so <laughs> I will be getting rid of it. Oh, anyway, but the next book I'm going to start, um, I'll show you in a minute once I've done all this washing, and uh, is the one that turned up today, The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner. I'm very excited about this. It's a kind of mystery, um, spooky, eerie whodunit. Um, so it sounds really interesting. I really loved her last book as well. So anyway, right, let's get this washing done. Right, who wants to know what my new book's about? Go on then, tell <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, very well acted there. Yeah. The London Seance Society, a novel by Sarah Penner. Let me tell you what it's about. There's my bookmark there. Okay. So it says here, spellbinding gothic whodunit. That's pretty cool. Um, May mercy be upon the man who finds himself the enemy of a vengeful medium. Don't want to get on the wrong side of a psychic medium. So in 1873, at an abandoned chateau on the skirts of Paris... A dark seance is about to take place, led by acclaimed spiritualist Vaudeline or Vaudeline, I don't know, Dialier. Dialier, anyway. Known worldwide for her talent in conjuring the spirits of murder victims to ascertain the identities of the people who killed them. She is highly sought after by widows and investigators alike. Uh, Lena Wicks has come to Paris to find answers about her sister's death, but to do so, she must embrace the unknown and overcome her own logic-driven bi bi <laughs> bi bias. There we go, bias. Oh, my. I did get a B in English, I promise. Um, overcome her own logic-driven bias against the occult. Oh, okay, so she doesn't. She's, she's not skeptic. into it. Yeah, she's sceptic. Uh, when Vaudeline or Vaudeline is beckoned to England to solve a high-profile murder, Lena accompanies her as an understudy, but as the women team up with the powerful men of London's exclusive science society to solve the mystery, they begin to suspect that they are not merely out to solve a crime, but perhaps entangled in one themselves. Ooh. So this sounds quite good, isn't it? Written with alluring suspense and sultry prose. Pros, pros, pros? I can't see. Is it prose? P-R-O-S-E. Prose. Prose. <laughs> oh god the london seance society is an entrancing tale that explores the blurred lines i know you want it hey, hey, hey. Blurred lines. okay between truth and illusion illusion and reveals the grave risks women will take to avenge the ones they love so yeah i think that sounds really good do you think it sounds good or not, not your sounds, cup of tea that sounds your cup of tea definitely yeah, so she's obviously the medium. She's like against it all, but they have to work together. And then there's something else going on as well. Um, so yeah, oh, it's exciting. I love starting a new book. I get very excited. So uh, this one has been on my wanna li read list for got months and months and months since I first saw this cover. I was like, oh my god, that's such a pretty cover. And then once I realised it was the same author who did the Lost Apocryphy, I was even more excited. So please. Please, book gods out there, let this be a good one, because the last one was like, oh. So, yes, I'm going to start it now, and I'll reveal during the evening, at some point, what I'm kind of, you know, feeling with it. So, um, yeah, let's do it. It's <laughs> pulling faces. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this bit of hair's doing. Trying to get away. Or this bit. Oh, this bit, no, it's just all sticking up. You're like a wild woman. Anyway, right, so the time is now ten past nine. I'm going to end the vlog in a moment, but just a little update. We have had a cheeky, naughty, naughty time together. Yeah, it's been very naughty. It's been really naughty. Would you like to tell them why we've been so naughty? 
Yeah, we had a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we had a McDonald's. We haven't had a takeaway for ages. No. So we had a McDonald's. So I had, um, as you can see, a little bag of chippies. And I do have a chocolate milkshake. Uh, oh, well, I've got a Coke Zero. So it's not too bad, actually. But I'd already had my dinner. Yeah. So... I was a bit naughty, but it's only a little bag of chips. And the milkshake is like a dessert. Yeah. And you've got a, uh, what's it called? A chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich and some chippies. And we also randomly got a Mars Singer toy. Because I've got a Happy Meal. Yeah, and it'll it come with it. I always get a Happy Meal. One Blob. Small drink, yeah. Two, because I have a little burger. Yeah, because mine's only a little. Little burger and you have the little chips. So we just have a little, a little this, a yeah. little that. So, Here's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Mars Singer toy. Do you want to show us some Mars Singer toy? Yeah, I'll show him. The Blob. Apparently, I think this was from season two of the Mars Singer, which I didn't watch back no, then. And this is, well, I think he was, what's his name? Lenny Henry. Or mm -hmm. Sir. Sir so Lenny Henry. Henry. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I kind of like him. It's like a, not squishy, but soft. Mm. I'll give it back to you, randomly. Thank you. Um, so... What have we been up to? I, I put the washing away. I have done a little bit of reading. Um, but then I got sidetracked by another book. Which I'll show you really quickly. <laughs> so I got this, well, about two, well, a bit about a month ago, I think. A month, nearly two months. Um, this is the sequel to Castles and Their Bones. It's by Laura Sebastian. And I really loved Castles and Their Bones. And this is the sequel. And I really want to know what happens. But there's one problem. You know the problem. It's a big problem. A big problem. Yeah, it's a big problem. I can't remember what happened in number one. I know a little bit, but I can't remember everything. And I don't want to start that one. Because you know. I just can't so I'm gonna have to do a reread. Mm. Which I don't do. But only partial. It's well, I don't know. I read it I looked on Goodreads and I'd read that one it well not that one, the um original one in March twenty two. It's quite a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Bearing in mind how many yeah, books exactly I read. Yeah, so it'll probably be, hopefully, like, either come back to me as I'm reading it and I'll just skip through it or I'll just reread it from scratch and just enjoy it all over again. Anyway, so I got a bit sidetracked with that. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> it's making me laugh, um, which I suppose is a good thing. But anyway, see, I got a bit sidetracked, but I have started this one. I put it in my little... Um, book sleeve which i love so much um and yeah i really like it so far i can't fault it i'm only on page 19 so i can't really give a good review but so far so good i, I really am enjoying it and it's about seances and spiritualism which i'm really into so yeah really good written so far so good um tomorrow i'm gonna be a nerd nerd i'm gonna go and sit in a coffee shop i can't sit in starbucks because they haven't they haven't got my Skinny latte, sugar free vanilla yeah, syrup. They said they're not going to get it to the weekend. That's sad, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to sit in either Cafe Nuro, Nuro. or Costa, or which I don't really like Costa. But... Valeria, the the La Serriere. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice in there. in there. But I don't fancy cappuccino, I fancy skinny latte, whereas Cafe Nuro do do a skinny latte, sugar free vanilla. No yeah. doubt they won't have any bloody that, syrup either. They, they are quite caffeine there. They do normally give me a headache, but then everything gives me a headache. Just yeah. a headachey kind of person. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to find a, a nice calf to sit in that's quiet, in a corner, with my pen and my little reading log. And I've li literally been jotting down my books that I've given five stars to. And I'm a bit behind, like ten books behind updating the books. I'm going to sit there, relax and chill. Um, but yeah, rest of the evening, I am planning on finishing my milkshake. I just watched The Mandalorian. You watched The Mandalorian. This is the way. This is the way. Do you know the way? This is the way. Does anyone watch Mandalorian? Let me know in the comments section. Do you like it? I do like Baby Yoda. I don't go go. He's sitting on the sand playing with little crab stone things. <laughs> I just want one. A real moving grow grow. Just to one. pick him up. Anyway, um, see, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on reading, really. Um, I've got some eBay parcel packing to do, yes. which I might do tonight. I might do tomorrow. I don't know. But anyway, so thank you for watching. 
Uh, please click like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out Mixer123 as my other YouTube channel. All the links down below to the channel, um, social media, Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, TikTok. And I do have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me and treat me. Added some new bits and pieces recently, included some Lego stuff. Um, and you've got some Lego -y bits mm -hmm. on there as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah, what was your birthday last week? Yeah. It's gone quick, isn't it? Yeah. You're not old. Don't say you're old because I'm older than you. Yeah, we know that. He's my um toy boy. I'm your cook. No, I'm not a coogie yet. I'm a, a something else, a goat. No, not a goat. No, you're probably not a goat as well. No, it's not a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> it's um. It's, a house cat. No. What? No, there's a cougar in it, but there's one below that that's like in my forties. I'll well, find out. The but anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm not going to vlog tomorrow. I just want the day to myself, really, without having to film everything. So, yeah, no vlog tomorrow, but I'll try and film again either Friday or weekend. So, yeah, see you soon. Bye.